Sometimes, if you touch a metallic doorknob or any metallic object, you might experience a mild shock. This is because the metallic object was charged. Or in other words, it carried an electric charge. Objects that carry an electric charge are said to be electrically charged. We know that when a comb is rubbed against dry hair, it begins to attract small pieces of paper. When two pieces of silk cloth are rubbed against two glass rods individually, and the glass rods are kept beside each other, the glass rods repel each other. Now, if one of the silk cloths and a glass rod are kept beside each other, they attract each other. Now, bring one charged glass rod in contact with a pith ball and then separate them. Then bring the other charged glass rod in contact with other pith ball and then separate them too. When these pith balls are kept close to each other without contact, we observe that they repel each other. The physical quantity responsible for all these phenomena is known as electric charge. Electric charge can be defined as the property of matter that exhibits its electrostatic interaction with other matter. From previous examples, bodies like combs, glass rods, silk cloth pieces, pith balls, etc. are said to be electrified or are called charged bodies. The study of electric charges at rest and the physical quantities associated with electric charges at rest is called electrostatics or Static electricity. These experiments prove that a body can be charged by rubbing against another body or by simply bringing a charged body in contact with another uncharged or neutral body. When the glass rod and silk cloth were first rubbed, they get electrified. But when they are brought in contact again and separated, they lose the electrification or charge and are neutralized. In other words, the charge on them is nullified. Hence, we can conclude that one of them may be positively charged and the other negatively charged when they are rubbed against each other. From these observations, we see that there exists only two types of electric charges in the nature. Conventionally, they are called positive and negative. It is also observed that the like-charged bodies repel each other. For example, two pith balls, both carrying like charges, repel each other. Unlike-charged bodies attract each other. For example, a pith ball carrying a positive charge will attract a negatively charged pith ball. We know that all matter is made up of atoms or molecules. Also, within an atom, the total negative charge is balanced by the total positive charge in it. When we rub one material against another material, the material in which electrons are relatively loosely bound to its atoms readily loses a few of its electrons to the other material. 
the material that lost electrons now has a deficit of electrons and hence becomes positively charged. And the one that gained electrons becomes negatively charged. In this case, the glass rod lost electrons and became positively charged and silk gained those electrons and became negatively charged. To know whether a body has been charged, we use an instrument called a gold leaf electroscope. It consists of an insulated metal rod with two gold leaves or foils at one end and a metal disc at the other end. This setup is enclosed in a glass jar with the help of a tight cork with the disc placed out of the jar. To test a material like a glass rod for electrification, the object should be brought in contact with the metal disc of the gold leaf electroscope. The contact should be momentary. If there is no change observed in the position of the gold leaves, it indicates that the glass rod is uncharged or is neutral. If the gold leaves repel each other, then it indicates that the glass rod is charged. The amount of divergence provides a rough measure of the charge on the glass rod. Assuming that the glass rod was positively charged, the gold leaves now carry a positive charge. Now, if we touch the metal disc, with the silk cloth used to rub the glass rod and take it away. We observe that the gold leaves fall back to their original position. Thus, we can say the silk cloth was negatively charged. On contact, the opposite charges on the gold leaves and the silk cloth nullified each other.